love that. Oh, wow, this is blocking. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys my finished closet and studio tour because if you haven't been keeping up with my channel, my last two videos were my closet themed videos. The first episode I went to Ikea and designed my new PAX closet, which was such a cool experience. And then in the second one, you guys got to see me move everything into my closet and just kind of time lapses of the moving closets because basically my old closet used to be through my sister's bedroom. So I'd have to walk through my sister's bedroom to get to my closet, which is so unpractical for like mornings and stuff. I have, we have this empty bedroom and I was like I want to turn this into my glam room studio room kind of like that glam just really pretty room and I wanted to put my closet in here but in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys the finished tour of everything that turned out I'm so happy with how it turned out and just letting you guys know I paid for everything myself because I always like to pay for everything myself when I'm doing like a big job otherwise I just feel kind of like guilty and just like oh make sure to subscribe to my channel in five seconds ready five four three two what? But yeah, I'm so excited for this video. One thing is that Ikea, we had a little bit of struggles with them actually. So the finished Ikea PAX custom closet turned out to be about $970, but that's because they sent us an extra mirror and an extra, see this? This is all like one, you know, unit. They sent us another one of those, so they sent us extra stuff, which added on like $200, and Ikea would not let us take it back unless we drove all the way to Houston, and it's really far, and they weren't willing to refund it, so that was some struggle that we had for Ikea, which was not a good experience, but honestly, I can maybe use the extra stuff sometime if any of these get scratched up or something. I don't know. I'll find a way to use it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let's get straight on with the tour. All right, guys, so this is my studio. I guess we should start... I don't know. So this is my filming backdrop. This vanity is from like, honestly, I have no idea. I've had it for so long and it's really wobbly, but you can't see that on camera. Life hack. No, I'm just kidding. On this vanity, I have this really pretty green plant. This is from Target. I have my play button because I felt like it was just really youtube -y, you know, like good for backdrops. And then I have my favorite candle, it's pumpkin apple from Bath & Body Works, and it smells like heaven. And then this is a pumpkin that I got from a challenge video I filmed. Then I hung up this like garland thing, and here's the thing, I know that the garland looks really bad because it's like a weird shape, but then there's like so much room up here. But on camera, it looks a lot better. Right here, I kind of have this chair that pretty much floats around. It has an Instagram pillow. I got this from VidCon. It's just this clear chair from Hobby Lobby. And this chair just floats around because I can use it for anywhere. And I'll sit on it and do my video intros. <laughs> of the studio is where I film my intros. Honestly, a lot of times the decorations behind me move around and I switch them out. This is what they're currently at. I like this little section of my room because it's just simple and it's already there so I can just film my intros really easy, get it done. Also, I used to use my studio lights for like everything that I filmed, but this time I literally don't have any studio lights in this room. But this room has two huge double windows that make me not need any lights. These windows are so big. You can see the outdoors, there's a gymnastics mat that no one is using forever. Next to the vanity, I have this little stool. I actually DIY'd this. It's like a little fluffy stool because when I'm going up on my closet, sometimes I can't reach the top, so I need this to climb up on. <laughs> Moving on to my closet. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, this whole thing is one unit, and this is the first unit. I like to color coordinate my clothes, so I have white, gray, some greens, but like black and white, I guess, and then like light denim to dark denim to black, which I have so many black pants, and I didn't even realize I did. I feel so small compared to it. Like, I'm getting my clothes, and I'm like, I feel so little because it goes so high up. Back to the closet. Right here, I have a pull-out mirror. So when you're from the front of it, you can't really tell that there's a mirror there, and then I can flip it, and that's me. This mirror is so cool. I like it because it can go this way and it can go like the whole way around. And then in the back of the mirror, there's the little jewelry holders and I don't really use jewelry. So I just put my two hoop earrings and my two chokers, but like I don't really have any other jewelry because I didn't know when we first got the mirror, it didn't show this. And then there's a pocket right here. So I decided to put a hairbrush and some ponytails. Now I want to show you how I organized my drawers. I decided to do one clear and then three just white. So what I put are my heels. Next we have, da -da -da -da. these are just my normal shoes. So I've got like my Adidas sandals, some booties. Right underneath my shoe cabinet, I have doo -doo -doo -doo. 
I have three backpacks. These are like my most used ones, just like my favorite ones. Then right here is a fluffy purse that's really, really pretty. It's actually like the only purse I have because I usually just use like backpack or my mom's purse. <laughs> my mom holds my stuff. I have three wallets. These are like the only wallets I have, but you know, for different outfits, I gotta have the different colors. This is my toiletries bag. So anytime I'm traveling, I put all my toiletries in here. I always lose it in between traveling. So I decided to like have it together with all of my bags. And surprisingly, I haven't used the bottom drawer. When I was first designing this and everything, the drawers look kind of small on like the computer, but they're huge. Like they can fit my shoes. I wasn't planning on being able to fit my shoes in these. This is the middle. I really like this compartment little thing. <laughs> Up here I have dresses and I also kind of color coordinated it. It's like not as good as the pants because I have more colors. Underneath my clothes I have like a glass surface. Over here I have just a white surface. I decided to have glass. I thought it would look really modern. And then I have a pull-out drawer for sunglasses. I thought that this looked really cool in the store. And again, it's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Soon though, I'm going to be going on like a some sort of sunglass shopping spree because I was thinking and I was like, when I had my old closet, I didn't have any places to put sunglasses so I never really bought them because then I knew I was gonna like have to do a whole organization thing so I really don't have that many sunglasses. Next we have the clear drawer. This clear drawer, the thing about the clear drawers is that they have to be like whatever you put inside has to be pretty so I decided to put this little box and this has like a bunch of underwear and sports bras and um, socks and it's just alone in there. I know this drawer is kind of like sad because it's just this box but if I put all my underwear like out here then if guys came in they would like see my underwear and like that's not cute. Moving down this drawer. Oh, how freaking satisfying is this, guys? I am so bad at folding, but this looks good. Here, I put literally all of my t-shirts. I really don't wear t-shirts as much as I wear like sweaters, jumpsuits, rompers. Next, I have da 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 da. Down here, this is pretty freaking beautiful. I have three onesies. This is kind of like the pajama comfy drawer, and it just gives me good vibes. Like I love it. So I have my three onesies right here, and then I have this little box. It's the same box as this one, and I have all my winter wear inside. So got my earmuffs, mittens, all of that good stuff. Then back here I have stuff that like I'm pretty much only ever going to wear when I'm cold or if I'm going to like a sleepover. This is like a big sweater. I was wearing it this morning because it was really cold this morning. I got this last year from BBTV which is my network. It's like got like fidget spinners and like the salt bay guy. When I wear it this year though people are probably gonna be like and again the last drawer is empty. This unit I wanted to just have clothing racks. This bar right here is all of my sweaters and long sleeve shirts and anything that can keep me warm. Here's the whites then it goes into like pastels. Then we've got just a block of fall colors and then there's gray, blue, into blacks. Right underneath all of the sweaters I have skirts and jumpsuits. Lastly at the very top of my closet I have some baskets. These two are identical and they're from Target and I don't have anything currently in them because I kind of like the look of them being really minimalistic and not having stuff in them. And then in the middle I put one, I put my most used purse. Like I love this purse and I really like the peachy color. And that you guys is my closet. This is what I look like in front of it. I look so short next to it. Opposite my closet over here, I know it seems very boring, like there's nothing. But that's because I actually use this white wall all the time for like um, Instagram photos. And just having a white backdrop is very handy. And this stool is for me and Hope do videos together. She needs something to sit on, so I just like bring it over. Oh, by the way, for the carpet, I'm just, I just have this, wow, love that. I have this white creamy one from Target. Now, you might be wondering, Annie, what is in this mysterious door closet? I don't know. It could be another bedroom, but it's not. So I have this little closet in here and it's actually really handy, but if you guys really want to see it, okay, okay. Oh, wow, this is blocking. <laughs> love that so much. I have to like take up the carpet. I was gonna do like a big like reveal, but now I have to like take up the carpet, move everything just so I can open this door. <laughs> Voila! Here is my closet. It looks messy on the surface, but trust me, it's organized. Okay, where should I start? This is my Christmas decor. So as soon as it's Christmas, I'm gonna be taking this out, switching out all of my fall decorations with Christmas, and this will become the fall box. Then we've got a back to school box. I know there's not a lot in here, but it is stuff that I don't wanna lose because I'm probably gonna use it next year. At the back of this section up here, I have, oh, I have some hand-me-down clothes from my sisters that don't fit me yet, but they'll most likely fit me in like two years or something, so I'm just keeping all of them. And then down here, I have two more boxes. This is spring and summer. Summer's at the very bottom because this is the season that's like furthest away. Well, I guess back to school, I don't know. Next to the boxes, I have this whole section, and this is all my summer clothes. So in my vlog yesterday, I like cleaned out my closet before moving on the clothes from one closet to the other. And this is just all my stuff from summer that I'm gonna use next year. And then back here, you can barely see it. I have like extra tripods and green screen stuff because it is a studio. Ah! 
I love it. As you guys can tell, I'm really in love with my closet. I love how it turned out. I feel so proud that like I did this, I bought this. And if you guys are looking to do a custom packs closet, it was a lot cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. So I totally recommend it. Just make sure that like nothing is scratched up or anything before you get it. Cause there is a few scratches in mine. I just can't see it cause it's like covered by the clothes.